morning, Minneapolis. For my lunch today, I went and got broccoli salad. That's healthy, right? But, I don't know. It specifically says they use low fat mayonnaise. I don't know. It doesn't have. It's very light. Really dressed. So that's a good thing. So this is a old thing that's been around for a while, a few years now. But uh, in Korea, uh, sometimes it's a thing to watch people live stream themselves eating. It has a name, but I can't remember it right now. Um, but I was reading an article today and they linked to this girl's YouTube. And I have been in awe for like the past two hours watching this chick eat. She has two pizzas, a huge shrimp plate thing, and then a huge, like, soup, seafood thing. And that bowl she's holding is chock full of mayonnaise. And she eats the whole thing, and she's like two pounds. I, she, I mean, she's got to work out for like eight hours a day. There's no way. It's so crazy. Kevin is taking me to work this evening. Uh, I think this is a first. An ultra rare occurrence. This one's more rare than the morning one. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go sit in afternoon traffic in the heat and go to work. Also, I don't think we've talked about this on fully Turn on left, camera on yet. Um, we're going to Vegas. Right on Taylor Eesh. Avenue North. Jeez. We're going to Vegas uh, at the end of October. And while we're there, we want to do a cosplay photo shoot at, what is it, Valley of Fire? Yes, the Valley of Fire. Oh, uh, it's, you know, you can Google it, but most people probably know it's those red rocks that are in Nevada. Nevada. And uh, super gorgeous. So, um, yeah, we're probably going to be listing that. It's only going to be one shoot. Uh-oh. Okay. Trying to go down that road, and it's closed. Kevin's plan foiled. is screwed. But now we're going to go to a parking lot. We'll yeah. see if this is possible. We're going to go secret uh, voodoo way. Not a, not, not quite. Oh yeah, you can totally do Yeah, it. I don't know why. Why the heck was it? It's just closed on that one corner. Yes, it is. This whale was given to me by Ellie Eberts. Um, she doesn't cosplay too much anymore, but uh, it was... We were just doing a photo shoot with her and she was like, I know you like whales. And so she gave us a whale. His name's Hubert. Anyways, yes, there is go only gonna be one spot open because we, do, you know, we're going to Vegas to have, you know, experience Vegas, I guess. But uh, yeah, so if any of you live in that area or are interested in doing that, wait for it to come out. It'll probably, it'll be on our Facebook and Twitter and stuff. So that's exciting though. I've you know, really pretty place and I've always wanted to photograph there and I'm glad we get the chance to. This is where we part ways. Yes, I will take you to the separate, the different Costco today. Yes, because the person at Jimmy John's wouldn't let me leave before I talked about the camera. Oh. <laughs> you should have said, it's a penis. It's a penis. I'm getting a surgery a pretty big one hmm. anyways have fun with Kevin yes thank you let's party so here we are we're at the Woodenville Costco now I think this is a thing now poke um, we saw a bunch of it when we were at the Seattle fight of Seattle uh, yeah, it's been around for a while, but I think people are getting into it. Poke, look it up. Very, very Sunday. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of sweets. Um, I don't like chocolate. Well, yeah, I'm not a big fan of chocolate. I go for vanilla when I have the chance, but Costco has these very berry sundaes. I don't get them very very actually this will be the first time Holly's ever seen me get one but I, I get them as a treat for myself every once in a while so I guess this is the first time in five years I guess that I've gotten one anyway I like them they're 
a frozen yogurt with a sugary berries covered all over it. So this is 400-ish calories. It's a lot. Um, so maybe I might be able to con Holly into eating it, making her cheat on her diet a little bit. But it'll be worth it because they're pretty good. And I would imagine at least somewhat healthy for you in terms of the bacteria that's inside the yogurt and the somewhat sugar-preserved strawberries and blueberries that are in here.